So he went to sleep in wudu, reciting ayat al-kursi, reciting the athkar, the remembrances that are required for the night. Throughout that night, you had an angel that was protecting you and an angel that was seeking forgiveness for you as you were in that state of purification. And if you meet Allah in that state, you are good because you left this world in a state of remembrance and in a state of purification. Now, how does this affect, however, the next day when you wake up? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, in the Quran al-Fajri kana mashhuda, that the Quran that's recited at the Fajr time is witnessed. It's widely witnessed. And the Prophet Sallallahu explained that when you wake up in the morning, you have angels that have shifts. And so we talked about the two angels that guard you, the two angels that record. Those angels shift out at Fajr time and at Asr time. So you have the angels of the night and you have the angels of the day. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, they switch those shifts at the time of Fajr and at the time of Asr. And so Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala gathers them at the time of Fajr around that person as that person is reciting the Quran at Fajr. And this is also connected to Salat al-Jama'ah, the congregational prayer of Salat al-Fajr. When everyone is coming together, you woke up طيب النفس نشيطا طيب النفس energetic with a good spirit you know directed towards Allah longing towards him and then you made your way to Salat al-Fajr and all of the angels of each person there your angels that work the morning shift and your angels that work the evening shift are gathered around listening to the recitation of that Quran at the time of Fajr and what a glorious moment that was and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks those angels that he sent to you and those angels that are coming back because they all report back to Allah after their shift and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to them how did you find my servants they say taraknahum wa hum yusallun wa ataynahum wa hum yusallun we left them while they were in a state of prayer and we came to them while they were in a state of prayer. They're constantly in a state of prayer because they're being found by the angels that are gathering at the time of the switching of shifts at Fajr in a state of reciting the Quran. And of course, the Quran of Fajr is supposed to be the longest recitation of the Quran where we really start our days off connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this, by the way, connects to the hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu was asked about a person who sleeps through the night and then wakes up after the sunrise. Okay, so sleeps through the night, wakes up after the sunrise. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, that's a person, bala shaytan that the shaitan urinated in their ears. So the difference between the angels being at your bedside, seeking forgiveness for you, protecting you, and then you wake up in the daytime and the angels assemble for you, your angels that work the morning shift, malaikatul nahar, malaikatul layl, the angels that work the evening shift, all gathered around you as you recite the Quran and reporting to Allah that this person was in a state of prayer when we came to them, and this person was in a state of prayer when we left them. This also has implications for our athkar, for the remembrances that we make. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, Saddidu wa qaribu waghdu wa ruhu wa shay'un min al wal qasd al qasd tablughu. Prophet ﷺ said, to be sincere and moderate in your good deeds. Saddidu wa qaribu, do your best. Aim for perfection, but know that you have to be moderate in that pursuit of perfection. Waghdu wa ruhu, and use the forenoon, use the time in the morning after Fajr until the sunrise, and use the evening between Asr and Maghrib to get ahead. And Ibn Rajab rahimahullah said, the way the Prophet ﷺ talked about the first type of deeds, he gave us the manhaj, the methodology for how we do our deeds. We set the standard of perfection, but we moderately uh, you know, pursue that perfection. And then he mentioned al-ghadwa wa roha, which is the morning time between Fajr and sunrise and the evening time between Asr and Maghrib. The Prophet ﷺ gave us the best of times, afdal al-awqat. If we make use of those times, we can get ahead. And that's when the angels are gathered around us as they're switching shifts and they find us in a state of dhikr, in a state of remembrance. And the Prophet ﷺ, of course, also said, Burika li ummati fi bukuriha, that my nation is blessed in its mornings. The way that you start off your morning with fajr, with recitation, and even, you know, getting, getting a head start on your day in terms of your halal worldly pursuits. You know, one of the companions uh, took the advice of the Prophet and started to work earlier than everyone else. And he always found himself ahead of everyone else. So using that early morning time to remember Allah as the angels that work your morning and night shift are together and then beginning your own work shift earlier than everyone else allows you to get ahead. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, 
you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.